Just Chanel here. Hey y'all, I am in my house. <laughs> Just Chanel here. So I am so sick, y'all. Um, if you watch my last vlog, you already know. I am like, it's bad. I had a fever, of like 103. My throat is like killing me, but I've got to get this house together before vacation. I promise this is like the last time you guys are gonna see me with my hair. <laughs> looking a hot mess because I'm gonna go get my hair braided um in like two days oh gosh but yeah um so I just wanted to show you guys like the progress and then just do like a little you know unpacking I'm putting my bed together all that stuff y'all see all these dang on boxes so yeah let's check it out the lighting in this spot okay so this is what I did with the sunroom if you watched the packing vlog and the empty apartment vlog you know that I don't have a balcony and this was my vision for the sunroom so I'm just waiting on my friend to bring like tools and stuff so I can put these little things up and you know stuff on the wall I need to get a magic eraser and get my life together here because I've been messing things up but ottoman and pillows over this way I was thinking about putting a desk over here but it's clearly not gonna fit so I'm just gonna leave it like this I probably will put some sort of like little um, floating shelf or something for books over here and then keep my like filming equipment this is what the living room is looking like so far of course y'all know I've been saying I'm gonna get a new sofa so I'm kind of just looking around for sofas this y'all see that it's like literally leaning that leg right there so bad I love this rug though so that is what's going on I think I may move those white pillows the ones that are on the couch onto the bed once I get that set up and do something with those white pillows on the couch but i haven't done the kitchen yet i just i probably won't do that till later on tonight honestly um and then this is uh these are like all those you know like all the old t-shirts and just random clothes this is what this box is so this is going to be the last thing i unpack because my dresser won't be here probably until i get back from vacation uh, so yeah, this box is going to sit here for a while and I just took the bed out of the boxes. So I'm about to put this together. Um, I didn't realize that this room was not as big as my last room. So yeah, I have two nightstands here, but I'm not actually sure if the nightstands like will fit like one on each side. So once I put the bed together, I'm going to see like how many inches um a clearance or like on each side to even see if these will fit if not i'm gonna have to return them and figure out something else for the nightstands i also have this lamp which i'm gonna put together today because there's no light in here but the lighting is like excellent in here as well so i'm excited about this bed because i've been sleeping on the mattress on the floor i did that like two nights and um i'm really ready to just be in a real bed this is a never ending quest for the same result in an easier fashion Similar strategies have been used effectively by governments. When the British government wanted to increase tax collection rates, to maintain motivation and achieve peak levels of desire is to work on tasks of just manageable difficulty. The human brain loves a challenge, but only if it is within an optimal zone of difficulty. If you love tennis and try to play a serious match against a four-year-old, you will quickly become bored. It's too easy. You'll win every point. In contrast, if you play a professional tennis player like Roger Federer or Serena Williams, you will quickly lose motivation because the match is too difficult. Now, consider playing tennis against someone who is your equal. As the game yeah, player, I just finished my book. AtomicHabits.com. Atomic hot Habits. Ooh, my throat. Um, check it out. So I finished putting the bed together. Um, yeah, I think the nightstands may fit, but we'll see. I'm trying to get another book. I think I'm going to finish um, Becoming by Michelle Obama. Each morning, catching the bus north on Jeffrey Boulevard, or riding along with my dad in the Buick if their start times happened to line up. The job for her was a welcome shift in routine, and for our family, it was also more or less a financial necessity. My parents had been paying tuition for Craig to go to Catholic school. He was starting to think about college, with me coming up right behind him. My brother was now full-grown, a graceful giant. It just took me like 30 minutes to get this mattress protector on here. But it's too big, which is really weird. My bed, my mattress is a king. The mattress protector is a king. Um, yeah, and it's too big. So, that's interesting. 
Does anyone else like not put the flat sheet on their bed? Like literally my entire life, I've never put the flat sheet on my bed. Um, but I'm going to, I'm gonna do it from now on because I'm trying to be an adult, okay? But I know this, I know there's somebody out there that Right, y'all. I N T E P E N T E N T. No, okay, really though. So, one of my friends is gonna put my bed together, and I was like, I just don't feel like waiting anymore. And I really just did this by myself. Like, who am I? No, I always put stuff together. It's almost like therapy, like putting things together. But anyway, I also went ahead and assembled the lamp, which I really like it. It looks a little crooked. I don't know why, but it's a cute lamp. There we go better view has a gold base and black accents i need to put light bulbs in there i'm trying to decide do i want like more warm light bulbs or like a bright white but i won't decide that probably until it gets dark because that's when i'd be using the lamp um i gotta get a magic eraser because this is not cute and then these are the nightstands i unboxed one of them but i'm definitely gonna need help so they're just gonna stay here um i need to vacuum so that's the next step and i broke down quite a few boxes the maintenance man um was here he was like warming up my water because the hot water was more like lukewarm and that doesn't work for me <laughs> um well i'm sure it doesn't work for anyone actually and then next, I'm going to go ahead and complete the kitchen. All of these boxes are full of kitchen things. Uh, and then that's really it. I think then I'm just gonna like lay in the bed for the rest of the day. <laughs> My hair. <laughs> okay, I feel so good, y'all, because, well, not like physically, but mentally, because I got all these boxes broken down and I got the kitchen like together almost. Um, so here's like the cabinet, one of the cabinets. All the glasses are going here, but I have them in the dishwasher right now that I need to start. And then Tupperware and whatnot, plates and bowls are going there, which are in the dishwasher as well. Um, you know, all my stuff on the counter. And then seasonings, I gotta buy some more seasonings, but yeah, the bar car is, you know, has everything except alcohol, but I'll take care of that very soon. Yeah, it's like really coming together. I'm excited. Ah, I need to make myself some chicken noodle soup, obviously. Anyone's looking for like plates and glasses for like super cheap, I just went to Ikea. Oh, I couldn't get the stickers off, but anyway. I went to Ikea and these six like short glasses were only $4.99. The tall glasses, six of those were like $6.99. And then the bowls, all of the bowls and uh-oh. And plates and everything were like 79 cents. So yeah, that's freaking amazing. This is just kind of like what I'm starting off with. I'm gonna find, I can't decide what color I wanna do, like plates. So that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. Like if I get colored plates, what I wanna do. But I just, I'm starting out with white just because I like to cook. Taking pictures on white dinnerware just looks really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start the dishwasher. And then, oh, okay, this isn't fitting. Okay. And then I found the magic eraser to get all those marks off the wall in the bedroom. All right, y'all just got back home from grocery shopping. Make sure you check out my meals and exercise vlogs because I've been doing one of those every single week. You guys will be able to see everything that I bought at the grocery store. But to end this unpacking vlog and kind of just getting my house together, I'm getting the dishes out the dishwasher. And I'm really happy with this dishwasher because the heated dry definitely works. Like these joints are stupid dry, okay? Like I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna put the dishes up and that's really the last thing I have to do in the house. Everything that's left to do involves tools. So like putting all the stuff on the walls and like every making everything more functional. I'm also going to find a closet unit. I'm gonna show y'all my closet actually because this closet is not working for me, um, which I kind of figured it wasn't when I looked at this place, but yeah, it's not really working. So I'm gonna find some sort of like unit where I can take these shelves down and redo this. I'm gonna show you. Oh, I just fell on the bed. <laughs> okay, so the closet is off the bathroom. 
Um, and it just has like this wall. So the washer and dryer is here. This is like the utility closet. Of course, it's the openings on the other side. But if this wall wasn't here, it would make it like a lot easier. It's just like you're going into this tunnel and I don't like that. There's also not a lot of hanging space for longer items. And um, I have so many clothes like at my other house that I need to bring here. So I know that this is just, it's not gonna work for the amount of clothes and shoes that I'm bringing over here. Um, this pile down here, are all things I need to hang. I gotta get some more hangers, but yeah. And then, I don't know, it's just like, maybe I should put like some sort of chest right here for like my undergarments and socks and pajamas. I, I gotta figure this out, but this will be like a whole DIY project because how it's set up right now, there is no way this is gonna work. The ceilings are really high as well, which makes it a little difficult to reach items. And so it's like, where do you put your shoes? Because if I put my shoes up there, it's just, it's just ridiculously high. Like that doesn't make sense. So I'm like, do I get like a fancy shoe rack and do everything? I don't know. Hope y'all enjoyed this vlog though. I'm gonna eat my sandwich that I got, make some tea and just lay in the bed and watch YouTube videos. So I'm so excited. I have vacuum um, lines on my rug that I'm just really feeling like it just looks so good. But yeah, uh, thank y'all for watching. I will see you in the next video.